also um ac uh i need that wire back up not right now because it's about to start getting cooler down here in florida but when it's hot down here it's hot it's fucking hot when it's hot down here uh i did a good job at hiding the air cooler just a bit this side you can't tell it's boosted you gotta get real close up and you'll see the couplings and my bonnet token you see the turbo which I need a better turbo so at this point I pulled off the pickup for the distributor um, mask it off all the sensors I went to the paint shop got some color this is a, a nice color. dark blue when the sun hits it's a lot lighter um, we have the timing cover right here. We already have some timer. I'm adding a first base coat. Um, in a couple more hours, not hours, a couple more minutes, 10 seconds, I'm gonna be adding the second coat. So that comes in right here. Then move the tape and add there. Before I chop the front off and stuck the BMW fan in. Literally right after I finished painting the timing cover, um yeah, I was being clumsy, being a human, dropped it. So that's what all those nice. speckles are. The intake manifold came out pretty good, but um, I messed it up putting it in. The valve covers, they didn't get messed up, but they're only part that's not being seen. So, yeah, it, it came out good anyways. Bumble clot! My ear. Okay. Disregard their profanity. I'm Jamaican. That's how we get to when we get My real excited ear. from seeing. My ear. For anybody wondering, these are the regular GE non-VVTI valve cover and the GE uh, uh, intake manifold, the one that passed over. The only thing I did, I used a file to get the rough edges down. Then I sanded them and gave them about three coats of uh, primer. And that filled in the holes from the casting. That's why I have a smooth finish. So that's why it looks like this. So for you to get it like this, you have to put about three coats of primer and sand it and prime it again then sand it then you throw the paint on it and it comes out nice um i have to change those coil pack wires and the coil packs i have to relocate the coil pack within the firewall it's a layer between the firewall and the cabin where the windshield washer as you see i don't need to mention these spark plugs are out of there um i got new ones i threw some new uh hollow zones in there but don't over torque your plugs that's what happened when you over torque the one on the left is a prime example uh, you know florida rain, 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 rain. It's about a week wasn't able to do anything so i just looked at it all day got some sunshine so yeah got a bmw fan from a 335i and wondering how can i fit this in the jeep So I'm about to go get some tents for the daily. Uh, all you need for a daily is AC and tents. Make sure everything works. That's it. Uh, I'm gonna record that whole process. Just because uh, I think I'm a YouTuber now. I have to vlog everything I do. Record. So me and my little friend is about to go record some videos. Post on my YouTube. Good camera. Game just made it up better. You get know I me? Mean? Make still. <laughs> yeah. See how looking a little better. Gotta put a paint. Put some white paint on it. 
tinted the windshield. Not a windshield, but the glass, the rear. Looks clean now. Uh, wheels probably need to be repainted. It's gonna be mint when it's finished. Headlight's gonna be clear. It's gonna be clean. Right there on the bumper. The dogs did that. They ate it. Just haven't got time to get to it yet. I'm gonna sell yep. it, get a they pickup tore the truck. whole complete bumper, uh, side skirts, that side. But my little car is right here. It's a Jeep. I like it. Um, the three-inch exhaust. It's basically a Frankenstein of everything. Uh, I converted it to V-band because I don't want to deal with boats. I'd rather deal one nut than bolt. I need to weld a diff. Differential need to be welded. Uh, um, that's me here. Test fitting the fan that I decided that I need to fit on the car today. So I'm in there finding grinder electric cord came back outside with the grinder um A friend of mine stopped by with a banshee, and I'm not going to pass the opportunity to pop over me. Period.